Okay, so I just started messing with audio and video editing just a short time ago. And one of the first problems I encountered was when I record from like, say I'm recording video from my webcam now, and or when I record from just a regular digital uh, video recorder, the video would be pretty good, but the sound, it would pick up all the room noise and everything. So let me just show you a video that I have rec recorded already. Not this one, actually. That's the finished product. Actually going to be this video. It's not up yet. Here it is. Hi, I'm Tim, and this is my dog, Poppy. Say hi, Poppy. And we're moving to uh, test video. I'm uh, using a webcam. And as you can see, the video is pretty good, but the audio has a lot of like noise and everything in it, like buzzing and humming. I guess that's from like the um, heater and the fan on the computer and everything. So what I did, if you see this right here, this is my uh, Test Cam DR07 recorder, and it's it it's basically an external microphone. It doesn't connect to the computer or anything so I also while I was recording that video I also recorded the audio on that device so let me open the audio file in Audacity and show you how that sounded okay and I just open now I'm gonna play it Hi, I'm Kim, and this is my dog, Cotton. Say hi, Cotton. And we're making a test. So as you can see, that audio is a lot clearer. However, it doesn't start at the same time the video starts. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out uh, the first few seconds of that video, that audio. Let's see, let me select that here. And then I'm just going to... Select it. Okay, approximately to right there, and then I'm just going to delete that section. And this is correct. I recorded the audio on the on my task cam task cam um, my task cam recorder at forty four one hundred. Um, Hertz, and so that's fine for the project project to be saved in that format or Hertz or whatever. So I'm just going to save it. Actually, I'm just not going to save. I'm just going to export the file right now. And I'm going to name it um, B. I'm going to add the extension B to it. I'm going to save it in WAV format because that's what I recorded in 16-bit. Uh, and I don't have to fill it out any of this stuff. It's just a text test track. Okay, let me get that out the way. Now what I'm going to do is import both of those, uh, the video clip and that audio clip, into Caden uh, Caden Live, which is the video recorder, a video editing software I'm currently using under Linux. So let's see. We're gonna import this one and also this okay I'm gonna drag these two both to the timeline and this one is a little bit shorter so you kinda have to just fiddle with it and watch the video and play the old audio and the new audio at the same time let me see if I can sh show you What I'm going to do is, I'm going to, let's see, expand this, let me see, can it, hi, I'm Kim, and I don't think you can 
see it. Let me just close it. Let me go back. Hi, I'm Kim, and this is my dog, Cotton. Hi, I'm Kim, and this is my and dog, Cotton. Uh, test video. And we're moving uh, the webcam. And you can clearly see here, at least, that the video and audio are not in sync. Let me do that again. Hi, I'm Kim, and this is my dog, Cotton. Hi, I'm Kim, and this is my and dog, Cotton. Uh, test uh, video. And we're moving the webcam. Uh, okay, so... What you have to do is fiddle with it, and I fiddled with this one already, so I know that this needs to start like at 2 and 24. And, okay, now I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to break that out. Hi, I'm Kim, and this is my dog, Cotton. And you kind of get that echo effect. So I kind of know that it's aligned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the audio that goes with the video. And then I'm going to break this box out again. And then I'm going to go back to the beginning and play it. Hi, I'm Kim. And this is my dog, Cotton. Say hi, Cotton. And we're making a test video uh, using a webcam. Okay, so that looks like it's pretty synced up. So the next thing I'm going to do now since it's sometimes hard to get these tracks synced up the video and the, and the external audio track what you can do is click like i just did click on this one control click again and select both of these and you can group these two clips and when they're grouped like this, you can move them and they move together so that they never get out of sync again after you put, it, put them into sync. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to render this project. I'm going to render it as H264. And this is really overkill because video is not a high quality video. But here I'm going to take, uh, I have an i7 processor, so it has like 8 CPUs, so these encoder threads, each encoder coder thread represents one CPU, so I'm going to dedicate four to this processor, and it should only take a few seconds, and I'm going to call this video test 2, and now I'm going to render that file. And rendering is actually pretty fast on the i7. I could dedicate more processor threads and up to eight because my that's how much my limit on my CPU. And it processes pretty fast. On my dual core machine, which only has two th which only can process two threads. Uh, just recently I did a another tutorial and it was like two hours long and it took eight hours on that other on the core duo and it wouldn't took it wouldn't have taken that long on this one but that's just to give you an idea of how long it takes to render things with Kden line. Okay it's almost done. Okay it's finished so now I'm gonna open it up. Let me go to my process videos. I have my second process video here and Hello. Hi, I'm Kim, and this is my dog, Cotton. Say hi, Cotton. And we're making a test video uh, using a webcam and an external microphone and to see how it comes out. Uh, so we can do an editing video on how to add external audio. Okay, and as you can see, it seemed like it was pretty in sync with the, the audio and the video. So that's what I figured out. Now if you don't have an external microphone or some kind of other microphone that can capture clear audio, another thing you can do is try to clean up your existing audio track. So here I'm in the directory and I'm using AV Convert uh, software which is I think it's an FFmpeg replacement. Uh, and what you do is, this is the name of the video 
you I'm gonna generate an mp3 file so I can use the live mp3 lane codec you can give it a title and some other metadata and then just give it a name so what I'm gonna do is just press enter okay and it made the track so now I'm gonna go back here look in raw and I got my hammer out file uh, my output file and I'm gonna open that in audacity okay it's in raw it's at the bottom okay I'm gonna open this file okay and I'm even gonna play it hi I'm Phil and this is my dog Okay, you can hear it's kind of that muffled sound and it has all of that background noise and just noise in general. So what I'm going to do to try to clean it up, I'm, I'm going to take, I'm going to press play one more time. Okay, all of that's kind of like static. So what I'm going to do is just go here from the beginning and gen just select a big chunk of the static and then I'm going to go to the effect menu and then I'm going to press noise removal and I'm going to get noise profile so it's going to profile that that selection that I just selected now I'm going to go to edit I'm going to select all I'm going to select the entire clip and then I'm going to go back to effect and go back to noise removal and I already got the noise profile so now I'm going to be telling it to execute to get rid of the noise so let's see how it sounds now Go back to the beginning and play. Hi, I'm Phil, and this is my daughter Poppy. There's my Poppy. And we're looking at our test video. Okay, you can hear it, it's, but it's real low. So, another thing I can try to do is amplify it. So, let me stop it. Go back to effect, go to amplify, and I'm just going to go 10 up. Uh, 10 decibels. I'm going to allow clipping to clip the extremely high parts. Click OK. Now I'm going to play it again. Hi, I'm Phil, and this is my dog, Poppy. There's my Poppy. Hi, I'm Phil. And that doesn't sound too good. So actually, I'll probably undo that, but let me just listen to it. Hi, I'm Phil, and this is my dog, Poppy. There's my Poppy. And we're looking at uh, 10 no, that doesn't sound good at all. Um, so let me undo that and see how it sounds. Undo amplify. Hi, I'm Phil, and this is my dog, Poppy. And you can play with it. What happened is when I did that noise profile, it, I think it took the volume down a little because uh, it cleaned up the static everywhere. But um, there's a lot of other things you can do with it uh, to clean up the sound. But now I'm just gonna export that real cl that clip real quick. That clip real quick. Let's export it. I'm gonna do it as C. I'm gonna save it. Okay. I can minimize that, minimize that, and let's go back to Caden Live. And what I'm going to do is right, right click, click on those, and, uh, well, left click, and then ungroup these clips. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this new clip right here. And since it's the same length, Let's see. Yeah, it's the same length as the actual clip itself. And then here I'm just going to mute this clip. Then I'm going to go back to the beginning here. And I'm going to break this box out again and I'm going to press play. Hi, I'm Phil, and this is my dog Poppy. There's my Poppy. And we're looking at our test video. I'm using a webcam. Okay, and as you can see, it's synced, but the audio isn't as good. I'm going to go ahead and render this file. I'm going to render it to test 3. And it's just going to take a few seconds also. 
and some of the other audio I did this way where I just extracted the audio from my video I was able to clean it up a little better than this audio but I overall I prefer the external microphones they seem to you know you get better quality unless you have a real good internal mic microphone so it's just a few seconds left I'm gonna go ahead and go to the folder it's gonna be in the process folder it's just 10 seconds left now there's another uh, video editor for Linux coming out for for Lightwork from Lightworks and it's it's a uh, editor that's available on Mac and Windows also and it's supposed I supposed to be one that uh, is used in professional video editing so I want to try that one out but I think the beta comes out like at the end of this month but this has been a real good editor for me so far so let's look at test three and see how it came out. I am Kim, and this is my daughter Poppy. Say hi, Poppy. And we're making a test video. I'm using a webcam. So you see, it came out similar, except the audio quality isn't as good. And just this is test two. Hi, I'm Kim, and this is my dog Cotton. Say hi, Cotton. And we're making a test video. I'm using a webcam and an external microphone. Okay, so you can see the audio quality difference there. So it's worth the extra extra effort to try to sync these video the the external video and the uh, the external audio rather and the video up to try to get a better product I think so that's all I have for today